So the question I got to ask, uh, ask you is somebody who played in the NFL, who knows a lot about the NFL, what, do you, what did you think when Shannon Sharp said that? Yeah, I thought he was dead on when he said that. I think he was speaking from experience and not just playing experience. Uh, I was a former player rep for nine of my 10 years. So that means you get to go at that time. We would take trips to Hawaii and get privy to the NFL PAs, books, marketing, the business, the economics of the game, as well as what the NFL and their intentions were. So when you start to go into those meetings, you realize quickly there is something with the NFL that's a common thread. Hmm. Uh, it's a game that's militaristic. Um, we, we don't really think about it that way, uh, but it is a game that has structure. They want superiority. They mm -hmm. want structure. They want also to go out there and everyone to know who they are in the hierarchy. So mm -hmm. very structured, kind of like the military, right? Mm -hmm. You got ownership, you got executives, you got coaches, you got players, you got fans, just like you got privates and sergeants, mm -hmm. you know, and captains, et cetera. Like, they think about it in those terms. People don't really hear about that. What people also don't know is that the NFL promotes uniformity. They mm. want everyone out there as a player to really just stand out by performance, nothing else. Now, that has changed over the years because these personalities and social media, but at their core, that's why there's a uniform policy. You know, mm. pull your socks up. Mm. I want all you guys to have your socks up. Wear your thigh pads. No one wears thigh pads anymore, right? Mm. Uh, we look this way. Every uniform's the same. The only thing's different is your name on the back, et cetera. So that's kind of their core principles. Now, when you start thinking in those terms, then you start thinking about what Taylor Swift is as an artist mm -hmm. and what Beyonce is at a, as an artist. Uh, one is a little more extravagant than the other, even though they're both at the top tier of being who they are. I think the NFL is more comfortable for no other reason but Taylor Swift and her performances and what she embodies is in a safer space to them and in more alignment to what they are at their core. Mm. Now, I just went to a Beyonce concert. I haven't been to a Taylor Swift one, uh, but Beyonce's fan base, boo. All over the place, brother. I'm talking about uh, you see guys with fishnets on, and then you see guys over there with suits on. Like, like it's just like, dog, okay. And then you go see girls, just little girls losing their mind, and you go see old ladies, old aunties still got acting you. like they still got it. Got you know, you. it's just, it's all over the place, and I think it's not as compact as what Taylor Swift and the Swifties are. So mm. I'm with Shannon. I think the NFL would rather have something they could digest easier than what Beyonce brings. So you you actually think that, do you think that the NFL knew this or it was just something that they stumbled upon and they were like, because funny enough, when I when I kept on seeing the Taylor Swift post I on ESPN, on, I'm, talking, I'm talking about Instagram, I kept on seeing like, uh, you know, people fo that follow the NFL, like guys say, no, not another Taylor Swift post. No, not another one. People leaving this yeah. in the comments and cracking up. But nevertheless, the NFL st still keeps pushing it. Do you think that um, now that they kind of struck goal or they figured out that, hey, we have a new audience, do you think that they're going to continue to push Taylor Swift and maybe artists like that to reach a new audience? Do you think they're going to listen to their oh, core absolutely. customers? absolutely. I, I think not? the NFL stumbled upon this. Mm -hmm. I don't think this was contrived. Um, it's hard to contrive this. Like, hey, Travis Kelsey, how you doing? I know you've been dating a lot of black women. Um, now, can you uh, go date Taylor Swift for us real quick and help our bottom line and yours? And, you know, you get them Pfizer dollars and 20 million. Like, ain't nobody doing all that. Like, it's so funny when you're on the outside of anything. It's always with some suspicion and conspiracy. But when you're on the inside, it's just like, no, nah, dog, I just, dog, how you and her go out? How you meet her? I, I just said hello. Like, you know what I mean? Like, everybody else was so scared to say hi to her. I said hi, and she was like, let's go. So I think the NFL stumbled upon this. And then from there, they saw the opportunity because they're opportunistic. Taylor mm. Swift is opportunistic. Travis Kelsey is opportunistic. I am. Everybody yeah. sees this. Jay-Z and Beyonce became that thing because it was power couples at play everywhere. And then they were like, who else qualifies on our level to really get the details and nuances of a day, right? right? Who else knows about security detail? Who else knows about, hey, the chef, the butler, and the house manager all got a court. These are things that if you just try to holler at your girl down the street, she'd be like, what are you talking about? So I think game recognizes game, and the NFL <clears throat> is the biggest game we got in this country, and they promoted it.
you just said something that I was just thinking about as you were talking about. You just said the NFL is the biggest game in this country. I got to ask the question, and maybe you can explain it to me because I truly don't know in our audience. The NBA, as somebody that talks about the NBA, NBA predominantly, it's exciting to me. I watch NFL games. They're fun, but I enjoy to watch uh, NBA games more. At the beginning, you mentioned that the the, the NFL can be like um, uh, it could be like military, where you have its order, everybody wears the same jersey and stuff like that. So, given all of those restrictions, given how principled they are, how is it that the NBA that markets all of its stars, it's more flashy, you can see the stars' faces and all of that? How is it that the NFL still continues to bring in more people than the NBA? How is that possible? Uh yeah, it's a couple of reasons. Um, not so obvious, but then you're kind of like, oh, yeah, right under my nose. Um, one, it's a better television product. Mm. And you talk about the NFL mm. versus the NBA. Like if you go to a game, an NFL game, I don't care where you sit. You feel like you've done something and you also have participated in something you didn't want to do. Like mm. fights everywhere, you know, mm. like people spilling beer, people yelling, people boisterous. It's family friendly, but it's not so friendly to the family all the time, mm -hmm. right? And I, I'm a season ticket holder, Clippers and Chargers, and I'm just giving you the difference of experiences. So we call them yellow jackets. Those security guards, they always are working at an NFL game. Mm -hmm. They could take a game or two off in the NBA. Like you got a heckler here or there, but other than that, somebody yelling at James Harden or Russell Westbrook, ain't nobody tripping. Mm -hmm. NFL, there's always somebody tripping. So the experience is actually better being at home watching football that has a built-in timeout every single play, something to digest, sitting on your couch, you're chilling, you just can watch it easier. Mm. Then the NBA, where you take this deep breath and you got to hold your breath because they're going back, 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 mm. back, back, back. They go, and then they take a little timeout, whatever it may be. It's just a different production mm. and it is easier consumed in the NFL than the NBA. But that's not the greatest reason. Mm. The greatest reason is, and I learned this in sociology that fans really sign up to watch sports, to live this voyeuristic experience, to, to live this experience where take me through what you guys have experienced. Right. Mm. And so when you look at it vicariously, like, I want to see something I can't do. I want to see something I am not willing to do. Mm. The mm. NBA is close, but the NBA is closer than the NFL. NFL, you see guys getting laid out, knocked right. around, beat up, <laughs> rounding through. You're like, hell no. Nah. You watch an NBA guy dunk, you be like, mm, maybe I should, I should try that. And you yep. go out in the back and touch the net. <laughs> <laughs> and then you try to hope to jump and get the rim. <laughs> then you go to the actual gym down the street and see 20 dudes doing that. And the NFL, you ain't going to no local gym and seeing nobody doing any of that. Right. And that's why I think the experience is different. You see it better produced. It's easier to digest. And they're frankly doing something your ass can't do.